Okay, I got out there, finished the MTC in Chile. Uh, we went to the mission field. I was so excited. I was nervous. I got my companion. I, it was great. I finished training. I, I got with my second companion, who was actually in my same group, and we were opening another sector as well, and so it was very stressful. It was a very hard time for the both of us because we didn't know Spanish. I uh, and yet we were just giving out our all and then I went and I went to a different ward I it was kind of a humbler more humble ward I had an amazing companion I and then I got to train I, a Colombian which was awesome I learned a lot I a lot of Spanish and also personally I I went to a different area after that, and I think that was when, that was one of the hardest parts of my mission. Uh, spiritually, physically, emotionally, uh, it was so hard. Uh, but prayers were heard, <laughs> and I, I got through it. Uh, and I'm one of those missionaries now that, and Mormons who say I'm grateful for trials. I never thought I would say that, but... <laughs> I got through it, uh, and I, I think after that experience, that just that was one of the lowest points of my life because it was just so emotionally hard. Uh, I God just lifted me up. I um, I got to train again, which is so fun. I uh, it was so fun, and I think months like eleven, like months eleven to like month sixteen are just like the most incredible months of a missionary's life. Because uh, you like know the language, you know how the mission works, uh, how to teach, and you just go. And you're just kind of striding. And it's so fun, you're working hard. And then uh, near the end, I think, I didn't realize how emotionally hard it would be. I uh, and I like I didn't realize that I thought I would just kind of like coast down, you know, but God definitely had other plans, <laughs> and it was just like a roller coaster. Uh, it was kind of like a whirlwind in the last four months. Uh, but in the end, it was incredible. Uh, I got to finish with incredible people. And I just remember at the airport, uh, I didn't cry my whole mission for two years. I like never cried. I'm not a huge crier. And then I don't know what hit me at the airport, but members came to say goodbye to us. And, uh, and you're with your mission president and his wife and your group. And it just kind of hit me uh, how much I love these people. And that was kind of like a, a bittersweet moment because I knew that I wouldn't see some of them ever again. I, some of the people that I taught. I, but it was just like a moment of pure love and kind of heavily in father, just kind of saying good job. Like you did it, you did your best. And so that's what I felt and I just, I just bawled. I, and I did not expect that at all, but I was just bawling at the airport because I loved him, and I tried my best, and I know that God knows that, and, I, and I'm grateful for that. And so that was kind of my mission in two years, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of hard times, a lot of happiness. I, it was the best two years for me, so I'm really grateful for it, and I loved it, and I love speaking about it, so it's awesome.